Did you enjoy the story, An Orange in January? It really showed how all of the four seasons that we have really help um, things grow. So let's go ahead and open our Wonders workbook. Um, the page number is 147 at the bottom. And at the top of the page, you're going to go ahead and write your name up here. Um, and we're going to look now for main topic and key details that appeared in the story. So for instance, looking on row number one, did it show somebody hiking a trail in that story? That wasn't part of it, so let's just cross that out. However, did it show how the bees, when the, when, the, when the orange blossoms appear on the tree, how the bees go ahead and get the nectar from that? And um, that's so helpful. That needs to happen in order for the oranges to grow. So then here, it shows how the rain is also helping the oranges to grow. Okay, so let's go to row number two. So on row number two, did it show about recycling and bananas? No, not in this particular story. Did it show how the oranges were, were picked um, clean off the tree? Yes. Did it show how they put the oranges in the basket and put that on the back of trucks? Yes, it did show that in the story. Okay, because this is all about the process about how the orange goes from growing and then gets from the tree and then and then gets to you in the market and then finally you get to eat it and share it with your friends, right? So this wasn't a story about baseball. We can cross that out. Did the orange go into somebody's lunchbox? Yes, it did. Um, did we have apples in this story? No, we didn't. And I don't know if you noticed in the last page, but um, there was a little boy who put the wedge of the orange in his mouth and made it smile. So I don't know if you've ever done that with an orange before. You probably have, but that's a lot of fun to do. And oranges are great because they're segmented, perfect for sharing, right? Okay, so on the back side of this page, we're simply going to blend um, some words and practice writing them. Okay, so let's use our sounds to read the words first. F, a, n, f, an, fan, er, e, d, red, er, ip, rip. Okay, so here we go. There's the picture of a fan, great picture of a fan. F, a, n, fan, fan. Okay, so then we're going to write f. Ah, mm. and it's a good idea when you're writing letters to make the sounds, okay? It'll help you be a better speller when you do that, okay? Two, er, eh, d, and it looks like it's an apple, so we're going to write the word red using our sounds, er, eh, d, red. That one's an easier one to blend, I think. Um, fans a little bit harder. And then number three, it shows a great illustration of a torn piece of paper. So we're going to write that with our sounds. Oops. Er, ip, rip. Er, i, p, p, rip. Okay. And um, go ahead and get your highlighter, give yourself an exit ticket, and we're finished with this language arts lesson for today. Good job, boys and girls.